Now, here in Flecky Church, this is a very uh, urban setting, if you like. Nice to have money. And this is a shopping centre. There's two more down there. Two more down that way. And uh, cinema and other stuff like that. So, centre of town, more or less. Flecky Fjord. Right, we're gonna see what's there. We're gonna skip it up. Nice, freshy mackerel for the first cast. Yeah, look at that. The swans eat mackerel. Let's find out. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. They don't. Right. So we get this one baited up. And you bind the crap out of it. That's a fairly decent bait, that one, so let's get it lashed out there and see what happens. 120 pound liter. The rods are Eliminator E1000, make 525, all hail the Meg 525. The water here is between 25 and 30 meters deep. It's kind of, that's shallow water. It's just average water down this end of the world. It was plenty of water to be catching fish anyway. First cast is a blast, as they say. I'm kind of going minimalistic with the camera stuff today. I said, I just want to get a film. I plucked it before I chucked it. The swans are terrified. Just a little lob. Get it out there, and see what happens. So that went about, I say, about. 60 meters or something like that. Yeah, line's still going down. There you go. This is as advertised. Between 25 and 30. Just like a bit of easy fishing. If there was such a thing. As long as it don't catch a swan, we're good. So, set the drag. Sit back. Relax. There's plenty of tidal movement here I think. The entrance to the fjord is out that way through little narrows which it hit for spinning for coli and mackerel and stuff like that. We got a bite boys. So we just give it time. Whatever it was is not on anyway. Well there's fish here anyway lads. When it gets dark we'll probably see something. I'm gonna reel this in now. There's nothing on it but I'm gonna reel it in. Just can watch it if you want. I think every one of my reels now squeak. <laughs> the drop of oil for them. Well, there we go. Bait untouched. I wonder what it was to bit into it. We'll find out. In due course, as they say. So, rebait. Cast it out again. Out that way. 100 meters. It's 30, 32 to 35 meters of water. That's where I'm going to go. No reason to pen some cast it, but I'm just going to thump it out there. 100 meters. Anyway, so give it an old lash. Hey, bother. I love that noise. <laughs> it's cool. Anyway, so we're down. So I'm going to put out another rod now. It is known to be. A two hook rig, one up, one down, and it's my uh, pulley pad and oster. And it's gonna be my pulley pad and oster until somebody comes along and says, Hey, I use that rig too, and then it can be our pulley pad and oster. But until that point, it's mine, okay? Right, and I got two trio hooks on there, pretty nasty looking ones, pretty rusty looking ones, but they're still sharp. That's what counts as long as I don't get the fish lock jaw, we're grand, right. Is that too close? We'll find out. Oh shit! We got a fish, boys. Oh yeah, we got a fish. Oh yeah. 
feels really nice. Really nice. Wonder what it is. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, Jesus. I don't know what this is, lads, but it's taking drag, whatever it is. You got to leave it now. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's really good. It's taking drag and everything. Maybe give him a little bit more drag. It's gone under the pier. Oh, oh it's a huge pollock. Whoa. Or a cowfish or something. It's a big pollock. Oh, it's huge. Oh, it's, oh. It's a huge pollock. <laughs> you see him there, lads? It's Lecky Fjord. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. I'm going to see if I can get him in now. Oh, this one's a keeper. <laughs> Please don't kick off now. Whoa! How would you like them apples, boys? Look at the size of that. That must be... Must be 10 pounds. Nice. It's been a while. <laughs> I get this fish away, killed and... In the pan. <laughs> There the scales. Put them down. Eleven pounds six. Eleven pounds seven. That's not too shabby. <laughs> Eleven pounds seven pollock from the shore. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, I'm bright. Deadly man. I can't believe it. Flaky if you're Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> me and my mate here will be having dinner together pretty soon. Yeah, so we will. 11 pounds, 7 ounces. Can you believe it? Not bad. This is right beside the supermarket, right? In the south of Norway. Do you really need to go all the way to the Arctic? This is what I want. So we fish on, boys. Look at the size of That's a pallet. A full size pallet there, lads. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I love pallets. They're so delicious. I love Norway. I'm not joking. I threw it 30 meters. Nice. So, yeah. 11 pounds 7. I'm on my way home. I ain't coming back, obviously. So, it is lashing rain. We're back in Flecky again and uh, just taking some of the gear down to the mark. So much stuff when you're filming, you know. Anyway, so tremendous night last night. 11 pounds 7 of uh, Pollock. Caught it right over here. Jesus, that's. Looks like there might have been a bit of trouble here last night. I don't know. Looks like the police have been here. Look. What? I will neither confirm or deny it anything that will further incriminate me in this situation so you just can forget about it right see what happens tonight it was deadly yesterday that's all i know so tonight i'm going to try three different things i'm going to change the rigs up i'm going to go with a live bait jig hook with a hair because they work kind of like circles and kind of like j hooks and the other rig i'm going to use an up and over on the hair, I'm going to use a bit of float just to lift it up, to lift it up off the bottom a bit. Bait, 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 bait. <coughs> I got fresh mackerel. I got frozen mackerel. Use a bit of fresh first. But the belly meat's always great, isn't it? That's right. That'll do the trick nicely, I reckon. And if it needs to get bigger, it will. And hooks tonight. <laughs> Not three O's anyway. I got seven O's. Now I want to leave these scraggly bits up the top, so I'm going to try and avoid them. If they move a little bit, that might help the situation. Right, there we go. I don't know, I'm clipping up. One tangle now. So I'm just going to lob this out, lads. Just like I did last night. 
the big boys, they're not afraid to come into the shallows in the night time to pick off the little lads who are afraid and stay in the shallows in the night time. Make any sense? That's why I dropped it out last night. So we're going to do the same thing tonight. Just with one rod because it's lashing rain. I want nothing to do with messing around with two rods in the wet. So just one rod, two rigs, see how we get on. And that way I'm not messing with gear all night. We'll lash it out now. Don't forget now, you just have to give it an old pull to see if it's free or not. And then you give it a chuck. Always do that. Otherwise, you just cost yourself half an hour. Yeah, that's just about right. So, it's about 30 meters or so. Give or take a little bit, because it's going to come back in towards you a bit when you when you wind it in a bit. So you have to allow for that as well. So I wanted about between 20 and 15 meters out there. And then, be right in the kill zone. Right in here, around the feet of this pier here. So second rig, up and over. As I said before, if you fish it like this on a hair, it works in between a J and a circle, or both, depending on how lucky you are. Even like circles, sometimes you'll deep hook a fish. Sometimes, not very often though, that on there. Neither baits go into fish's mouths, neither. And the hook up is better. Truth. Here we go. Then over the top. As always. Two ties. A couple of half hitches. Three, to be exact. As a couple, couple's two dopey. Anyway, so there's my bait. Yeah. My fishing is a fusion between European and South African fishing. Important to say, some of the stuff I have invented, some of it is an amalgamation between theirs and ours. And uh, the way they do their baits, I think, is very clever indeed. So, just say you wanted to cast, we always put the floppity bit down the end of the hook that you clip down. But when they do it, they put it up the top like that. Right, and when the current washes against this, the rig will go downstream and these will flutter enticingly in the current more than they would if they were down the other end where they just sit straight more. These will move more, I think, and they cast much better as well. That's the way they do it, I think it's clever. So I've adopted that way as well. I'm gonna put this on it. It's a glow thing. Turn off the light, there we go, glow thing. So I'm gonna put this on it. Just put the two tubes on. So just uh, cut them in half, one at the top, one at the bottom, and you're good. Then the old obligatory figure of eight. This is 80 pound fluoro. Indestructible. I could even fish for spurs with this. Just to change it after a night though. What circle hooks anyway. Circles are nearly always chewing on the shank. Insert the glowy green thing zosly into the tube supplied by the manufacturer and then the other end to follow up with. We got a fish lads. We got a fish. Apparently quite a nice one. Don't be in a hurry now, please be there, please be there, please be there. No, we missed him. Well, there's fish there anyway, that's... Fairly mounted that bait, isn't it? Quick bait change, back out again. So, last cast of them. Get a bite on this. Yeah, go on, get down there. Go on, you good thing. Big sharp seven though. Oh shit, lads. Oh, we're into something. Yeah, we're into a fish. Oh, it's another good one, lads. Oh, it's really good. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a really good fish. What have we got? Another pollock. That's not as good as the last one though. That's a cod. It's a cod. I won't do. 
we'll do. It will do. It will do nicely. Got a little tires there. Oh, not bad. Nice red card. Nice red card. I guess I'd give him four or five pounds or something like that. Anyway, so nice fish nonetheless. Anyway, that's so he swallowed that right down. I'm not gonna be able to rescue this fish. So we're gonna bleed him, then we're gonna icky jam him. Then we're gonna weigh him. There we go, my nice. Might as well clean them while I'm here. Like a Jimmy Cod. So I said about four, four and a half or something. It's actually a cod. Hmm. Must eat lead or something. <laughs> Yum. Dinner time. I'm Billy. This is Billy Fishing. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you like it, like it. And I'll see you on the beach. Bye.